What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and this is your Kamza Chumaya versus Nate Diaz breakdown. Um, I mean, what is there to say here? Um, Nate's gonna smash this dude. Nah, I'm just <laughs> nah, 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 man. I wish, I pray, I pray, but nah, Kamza. Um, nah, he got this, man. I, as much as I'm not the biggest fan of Chumaya. Uh, stylistically, he checks every box to beat Nate. Um, I, I just the only way I can see him losing is if he gasses out and he fumbles the the bag basically here. And I, I just don't think, um, I just don't think Nate can win this. Like I, I just don't think he can actually win this fight. Like there's certain fights where I might be like, oh, like really leaning towards this guy, but I can see a chance. Right, and I'm not saying Nate doesn't have a chance, but I just, and I'm a, I'm a big Chamayev hater, y'all. Y'all know me, like I hate on this dude hard, bro. But I just don't see how Nate wins this fight. Um, I do expect a few things from Chamayev to prove in this fight. This is more about how much has uh, Chamayev improved since his Burns fight, and he's gonna have to show a lot uh, to be really seen as a legit contender in this division if he goes out there and finishes nate really early we don't learn anything uh if he goes out there has a clinical performance for at least two or three rounds we know something if he puts on a master class for five straight rounds that tells me like oh fuck maybe i might have to deal with this guy as a champion um but that's about it for chamayev you know and for nate real talk I guess the only win he can get in this fight is surviving, um, making it tough for Chamayev, making Chamayev look bad. Uh, if there's any way he can do that, then I, that's a win for him. And he does that a few times. Like he'll lose fights, but like he'll, he'll make it look like he actually won, like the Jorge fight, right? Oh, a doctor stop it, but he was getting his fucking ass killed for the first two rounds. Um, same thing with motherfucking uh, Leon Edwards. He was getting completely dominated in the grappling and the striking everywhere. I mean, I. The, they didn't throw a lot of strikes to begin with, but the strikes that Leon threw, he was damaging uh, Nate, right? Uh, and then, like, he he catches him in the fifth round, and everyone only talks about that. So, um, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, Nate, he's a, he's a tough dude, and his fans think he's better than what he really is. But that's all he really is. He's a tough dude with some decent boxing and a decent submission game but that's it uh chamayev is a legit championship level prospect i don't like him i hope he never gets a championship but that's what he is at the end of the day um so yeah but and that's just the storyline of this fight uh obviously there's more surrounding it because nate's contract situations the the talking that nate's been doing i have never really covered it on this channel because it's like it's just talk but you know he's been talking a lot of mess he's been saying oh this and that they haven't been giving me any fights oh, i wanted to fight francis and Gano. like yeah like shut the fuck you know, like what do you why would you even bring up the heavyweight champion of the world like come on have some respect but uh, <laughs> like, like what like who like that doesn't even make sense like, like i wonder what francis thought of that like i'm like he's like <laughs> like, yeah. but um but yeah like he's had his issues right and they gave him chamayev and they knew what they're doing they they are they're planning his funeral and i just hope chamayev's trained properly for this which i think he has and he's taking nate seriously which i think he has and he's gonna win this fight which i think he will do so it is what it is um he will end the nate diaz uh, story with a loss uh, for, for at least in the UFC now whatever Nate does after the UFC that's on him um, but yeah but in terms of stats man Kamza Chumayev uh, comes to the record 11-0 fights out of Sweden age 28 a uh, height of 62 and reach 75 Nate uh, a record of 20 and 13 fights out of Stockton California age 37 or high to 6 foot and reach 76 so yeah um, it's interesting uh, I think Kamza is ranked what number 4 Number three in the world. Let me check their UFC ranking. If I, I think he's, I think he's number three. Yeah, Chamayev is number three in the world, and Nate is obviously unranked. Um, things that stand out to me, obviously, Nate does have a bit of a reach advantage. Um, 
comes out is the taller guy it comes out as the bigger guy right let's not forget as much as nate has filled into the welterweight weight class and i i do give nate his credit he is a legitimate welterweight because he can't make lightweight anymore uh and he never will um he's a legit welterweight you know and but the fact is chamayev is a potential middleweight I've always felt like I felt like that about that kid. That kid could really go up in a weight class and be very successful at 185. What you know? What he fucking proved it against GM3. Look at what GM3 is doing right now. Uh, a, a win that is aged like fine wine for him. It, it breaks my heart that he beat the greatest of all time, Gerald Mirshard, but it happened. Uh, but Gerald slipped on a banana peel. It, it happens to the best of us. And a rematch is different. <laughs> but yeah, like, but w with all jokes aside, though. Um, yeah, he's just a bigger guy. Uh, so wrestling-wise, anything grappling-wise, it's going to be a fucking problem for Nate. And uh, the physicality of a guy like Chamayev on top of you, and when you're just a skinny, frail dude, and your biggest attributes are your toughness, it's, it's just, uh, it's going to be hard, all right? He's going to get pounded out and like, oh, man fucking pause no homo <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's gonna get ground and pounded for oh man that even sounds crazy but still um he's he's gonna get whooped on the ground that's all i know and because it's just the size and the physicality of chamayev and like nate again he, he's not really that strong um and that, that's and that's just the honest truth of it uh, i know he showed some wrestling against pettis but we pettis is <laughs> I love Pettis, man. I really do. The kid's a good dude. But, like, that guy, you tell him to grapple, he'll just, like, man, just tap. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, that's life. But, um, Nate, I mean, if we look at Nate's resume, man, he's beaten, a, a, like, a few good guys. I mean, the Conor McGregor fight was really big for him. The Pettis fight was big for him. Um, right? He beat Michael Johnson, uh, Gray Maynard, Jim Miller, Donald Cerrone, which was a good win for him. But a lot of these guys are... Um, lightweights like former lightweights he's never really beat a legit uh welterweight the one guy he beat at welterweight was pettis who was ranked at the time uh it was a good win for him um also he what what did he do um Pet, yeah pettis was coming off that win over wonder boy so you know there was like oh is 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 nate as good as wonder boy fuck no <laughs> like what the fuck shut up um you know, some people try to do that even with Tony Ferguson. Oh, Tony beat Pettis, and then he beats Wonder. Like, man, shut the fuck up. Like, that's not how that works. Um, but, yeah, like, he's he's been a lot of fucking welterweight. Not welterweight. He's been a lot of lightweights. Every welterweight he's actually fought, he's gotten beaten by. Um, but, yeah, he's lost to Leon Edwards, Jorge Masvidal, Conor McGregor in the second fight, uh, Rafael Sanjos, Josh Thompson. Praise the fucking Lord. Uh, I always, every day, I keep that clip on my phone. You gotta respect it. Uh, lost Benson Henderson, uh, Roy McDonald, and that's the fight I really want to talk about. The Roy McDonald fight, he got completely out grappled here. He got sent to Suplex City by the newly retired Roy McDonald. And yeah, like there's just no way I can see fucking Nate winning that fight just based on the Roy fight. Uh, Chamayev has had a quick and very short career in the UFC, but he has been dominant and he's only had one, I feel like, fight where he's seen adversity. And besides that, he's kind of dominated every fight. I've never seen him basically get hit until the <laughs> the Burns fight. Um, you know, he fucking killed John Phillips, destroyed Reese McKee, uh, made it look easy against uh, Gerald Mishart, and had a phenomenal performance against G. Lee Lang, who's doing pretty good and also on this card, by the way. And then he had his fights against Gilbert Burns. Now, I predicted Gilbert was going to beat him. I really rode hard with Gilbert here. I felt like... I, I was wrong. I was wrong about the pick, but I felt like, man, Gilbert did me justice, right? Because he went out there, he fought his ass off. Uh, he gave Chamayev a way tougher fight than people thought he was going to do. I will never forget, Chinny Lightweight is going to get knocked out in the first round. Da, 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 da. They go to fucking decision. Burns dropped him. Burns hurt him. This and that, right? Uh, I felt like Burns made some mistakes in there. Uh, he gave too much of that third round up. But, um, and Chemayev has a good ability to go forward. And he, his cardio, here's the thing. Like, I feel like he, he will not, he doesn't have bad cardio, but I feel like you give him somebody that can give him enough resistance and has good cardio, they'll melt him. They'll break him and he'll break eventually, right? Um, and that's what Burns proved. But again, Gilbert is the only one that can do that. You know, Colby is the only one I could see doing that. 
Usman is the only one I can see doing that. Leon, it's he can do that. I, I truly believe that. He's just that good of a talent. Nate's not any of those guys. And that's what it comes down to this matchup. As much as I can break it down, I just I come to that same conclusion. Like, yeah, Chamayev had probably his most flawed performance uh, in his last fight, but still it was against a high-level competition. And he did win the fight. Like, when I watched it live, I kind of felt like Burns maybe could have edged it. But when I rewatched it, I'm like, it's fair. It's a fair 2-1, Chamayev. Um, five rounds is different, just saying. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm playing, yo. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think... I just think Chamayev's gonna fucking destroy this dude. <laughs> so I, I got I got Chamayev by second round TKO. I just think he's gonna take him down. He's gonna kind of like just hit him with a bunch of shots on the ground. And I think they're gonna stop it. Nate's gonna complain it was early. Some of his fans might complain it was early. And that's how I can see the fight going, honestly. I, I don't see any way where Nate wins. Uh, and if he if he beats Nate like that, man, I still have, I feel like I still have every right to criticize him and say he's not that guy that y'all think he is. But hey, it is what it is. But if he goes out there, puts on a clinical performance for five rounds, dominates Nate for five straight rounds, then you might have like, okay, maybe he's something special. You, you might hear like, man, maybe I'm just quaking in my boots. <laughs> but until then, it's uh, it's never quaking in my boots for Mr. Kamzat Chamayev. Uh, I'm not worried about this guy at all. Hey, if they they gave him this fight to get his confidence back. Obviously, his confidence was was broken. He was a little sad, you know. I could I couldn't knock out the chinny lightweight in the first round, you know. <laughs> so they they gave him a they gave him a free bone. It was like, all right, come on, kiddo, get your confidence back. Uh, go fight Nate Diaz and his career, and uh, get your mojo back. Cause man, he ain't been talking the same like he like how he was. Real talk uh for the lead up of that burns fight he's been pretty respectful and quiet so yeah uh but yeah man this is gonna be uh it's gonna be an interesting card it's gonna be a fun pay-per-view but yeah can't wait for it i hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown i'm rocking with comes out Chamai by second round tko uh just on the ground rabid punches on top maybe in half guard simulator or on uh, or a mount or he takes the back or something, something like that he just he just destroys nate um and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love y'all and goodbye. Go, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Like, comment, and share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. And your boys out of here. Hey Diaz, let's go, brother. Let's go. Famous, you know, like everyone loves him. Like everyone talk about this gangster and that shit. Let's see who is the real gangster. Well, I eat the gangsters for the breakfast, you know, like gonna f*** that guy, bro. Nobody can stop me, brother. Yeah, Sweden, motherfuckers.